How's it going, Lin Pan fans? Welcome to another episode of Linen Subscriptions. And today I'm going to be watching Junk Food Reaction by the channel Charmax. And in this video, I'm going to be killing two birds with one stone because I'm watching Charmax, who I'm subscribed to, but he's reacting to an Odd Ones Up video, another channel I'm subscribed to. I find Charmax and the Odd Ones Up very entertaining, so hopefully, this video will be very entertaining. With that being said, the brief links in the description, and without any further ado, let's begin! Today's video was sponsored by Carrots. We're actually alright if you put other stuff on us. I like butter. <laughs> okay. And salt. Oh, I get it, because it's about junk food, so something healthy for us, because I understand. Are ever gonna ranch dressing, you know. He's always talking about putting butter and salt on vegetables. Dip a carrot. Dip a carrot and ranch dressing, pretty good. I wouldn't consider my parents health nuts, more like health kernels. They would never buy unhealthy okay, snacks, but they wouldn't force me and my siblings to go outside and play because it was always burning hot. And we just licked the melted candy off the sidewalk anyways. They wouldn't- It's disgusting. Is what? that true? You would, would, yeah. you, would you actually do that? Is that true? That's gross. Never buy sugary cereal. The most sugary cereal my parents got was Honey Nut Cheerios. That's kind of like my parents. I was only allowed Cocoa Pops if it was school holidays. My parents would never really buy really sugary types of cereal. I mean, I had Lucky Charms a couple times, which you could argue that, yes, and there's marshmallows in there, so I guess it is... <laughs> I guess it is a sugar, sugarier type of cereal. But my parents, in general... Sugarier, is that a word? That's right, my parents didn't buy us cable, Cocoa Puffs, or candy. Cool. <laughs> Tough childhood. Wow. We were allowed to eat sugary cereal for one day out of the year, and that was on Christmas morning. It's a fun tradition, and we still do it to this day. As a kid, I would always get jealous. And now that you live on your own, do you eat sugary cereal? That's a good question. That's what I want to know, too. Did you um, go and experiment with sugary cereal once you moved out? Oh, yeah. While I had a PB&J nice. sandwich on wheat bread with the crust still on, but... PB&J in <laughs> oh, school? With this the was crust like a while ago. I don't, I, don't, I don't think you can bring peanut butter to school anymore, can you? Oh, that's actually know. true. You I can't. I mean, but, not, not like, even when I went to school, you were allowed to do that. Thing. I thought people, like, just weren't allowing that. But from, like, you while I was allowed that. But it's okay, because I like the crust. But now, looking back, I'm just mm -hmm. so grateful that my mom cared enough about my health to instill these healthy eating habits into me at a young age. I mean, I don't follow them anymore because I live on my own, and I don't know how to cook, and bagel bites taste so darn good. But I'm still <laughs> thankful my mom taught me what I should be doing. Now, if there's any parents watching this going, hmm. That kind of answered my question towards now that you're living on your own, did you want to yeah, it did actually, yeah. I like the way this James's mom character thinks. Good. I would recommend to all parents that you should be teaching your kids healthy eating habits as soon as possible. That's I good. definitely didn't appreciate it at the time, but now that I'm older and wiser, I'm thankful that I like the taste of wheat bread. My Ew. parents had a saying, the wider the bread, wheat bread's the actually not too bad. They would always get wheat bread. Even for hot dog and hamburger buns, they got wheat. Some of you might have had to use sandwich okay, bread that's as weird. hot dog bun. I've done that. You're poor, I get Oh, come on, man. That's not the most strange thing you can bread. do. However, now that I live on my own, I still get the wheat bread because I don't want to die young. I still have YouTube videos to make. Some yeah, you do. So do, do I. You work out, James? And so I mean, do they've done studies, and I believe there's a very little, very little difference between normal white bread and wheat bread. Yes, white bread does have some Oh, sugar. really? Except I do get the white hot dog buns. The wheat ones are still gross. When I was a very little yeah, kid, why would my dad's you do that? was throwing a barbecue get-together thing, and I got to eat as many hot dogs on white bread as I could handle. But the best part of it all... Oh my goodness. That's a crazy oh, drawing. That wow. makes me afraid. I choked on eating Holy sausage. Crap. Have you? <laughs> when I was really young, we were having sausage here, and I ate... Gay! And they ended up choking on it, and that, like I, I have this paranoia of choking, and seeing this is like, yeah, you not give give you pity, pity was I to wash it PTSD. Is that what it's called? Yes. Yeah. So Listen, I was very sure. Old man Humphreys, sugar saturated tickle tonic, pine cone blast. <laughs> what is that? Oh, I always get diet soda. I always get diet soda. I can't. Yeah, like, okay. There's so much sugar in normal soda. It's unbelievable. Like a normal Coke has so much sugar in it. It's like a day or two's worth of sugar. But like it's so the diet normal. stuff actually, actually works than the than normal Although, stuff. Oh yes, it's not like it's healthy, healthy. It's healthier than if you were consuming just a regular sugar. Beer. Sugar deprived back home. I had to catch up on all the sugar I was missing out on. I don't remember what the soda was exactly, but let's just say for the sake of this story, it was an original bottle of Coke from the 1800s. It might as well have had <laughs> cocaine because I was addicted to all the white powdery stuff they added into that drink. 
pretty soon my tummy started to get the rumblies, and I had no idea what was causing it. So I told my dad, Dad, my tummy hurts. And he said, hmm, it's probably because you're dehydrated. Here, have some soda. And I... He actually said that? He actually <laughs> I mean, technically, uh, I don't think thing. soda actually hydrates you, especially if it has caffeine in it. So, the caffeine um, counteracts any like liquid. Or I'm, I'm not like, sure you know, that's true. Of coffee. You have the caffeine and you got water, and I believe the caffeine and the water kind of cancel each other out or something like that. So, you're not actually gaining any hydration by drinking coffee. But then that would I mean that coffee similar with soda. Still my dad There's no the ca the water would take the caffeine out. So I drank more soda, and then I threw up, and my dad said. We should leave. I mentioned this next story in my first book. Good, uh, available good idea. Stores near you. Be on the lookout yeah. for book number two coming out at the end of March. But one time I was like, "Deal two, yeah." James, wow, you're really busy. Mom bought a giant three-pound bag of Skittles. I forgot what she bought them for, but they definitely weren't for us. She locked them away in a closet because she knew what us kids would do if we got our grubby little hands on the Skittles. This wasn't the first time Nothing Mom bought hide candy from us. But this time, she forgot to <coughs> lock the closet, leaving the Skittles unprotected. That's uh -oh. good. The brother ate the entire thing, and we would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. So I don't know, how could you how could you eat that many? How could you eat that much candy? I don't. Understand. I got no idea either. I That's a some, lot like, of lollies, as we call it. And, uh, how could you how could you eat that many? How could you eat that much candy? I don't understand. Yeah. I went to some like some place where you can buy bulk, and I bought like this massive bag of um, candy. Kind of like what you did, or your mom did, and I, I bought that like three years ago, and I, I've only done a little tiny dent in it because like it's the same candy over and over and over. You get sick of it. How can you eat that much? Yeah, I, I don't care how people can eat a whole block of chocolate. I, I feel sick about having too much sugar all at once. But then something came up. Phew! I threw up on the family room. Oh, threw up. My mom saw how rainbow the throw up was and immediately put two and two together and knew that we had gotten into her skittles. <laughs> the funny part of this story is that my older brother got, Taste the rainbow. got punished, but I didn't. Because according to my mom, I had already suffered enough. And that's why that story is in the chapter titled, Perks of Being the Younger Brother. Anyways, don't eat so much candy that you throw up. True. Okay, I'm gonna be talking about M and M's for a while, so to make it go faster, instead of saying M and M, I was that M and M in the background does just fade away. Was that about? I'm just gonna say, mm. in one of my older videos, I said that my favorite candy bar was, mm. and every time I would tell people that, they would always say, "That's not a candy yeah. bar." Yeah, <laughs> I remember that episode. But then something True. interesting happened. Okay. A year after that video was posted, Mmm actually released a bar version of their candy. So oh, did they? I don't know. Uh, I was a little while ago. Right. These, uh, these Eminem angels in the background are quite disturbing, James. Quite disturbing. I think peanut Eminems are like my favorite type of Eminem. But like the normal ones, I don't particularly like because it's just Fair a little enough. bit of chocolate that's covered. Nothing special there. It's nothing special. Very generic. But with, you know, having a little bit of peanut uh, covered with chocolate and then covered again with the uh, hard stuff, I really like that. So now I can absolutely say that mm -hmm. is my favorite candy bar and not get any weird looks. Oh. Of the mm -hmm. Yeah. Team sent me a box James of mm -hmm finally bars, won. And I think they wanted me to promote it, but because I said that mm are my favorite candy bar, whenever I go to a convention, sometimes you guys bring me. I guess they got their wish. Mm -hmm candy, which is very thoughtful, but. You know, I like other things too, like <laughs> Oreos and Twix and money. You know, I'm just saying, you know, I'm throwing me mm all the time. When I was visiting London, I went to the mm store with my friends Adam and Mads. And if you don't know about the mm London store, it's four stories tall, 35,000 square feet, and according to Wikipedia, the largest sweet store in the world. Wow. Was it just so an it was big. Once I stepped wow. inside, my first thought was, okay, this is too much. It was like the candy forest scene in Willy Wonka. <laughs> I used to love that scene as a kid. We'll see in your imagination. A hundred pounds! Except it was all chocolate and expensive. In one part of the store, you can make your own custom ooms with a picture and two what? phrases. So for That's the picture, crazy. I googled my cartoon self, held up my phone to the camera, and it bloody worked, buddy. And for the phrases, naturally, <sighs> you know, did you keep it or did you eat it? Terrible British accent. Kind of sounded like you're going to say. That was meaningful, so we wrote "mad stinks" and "Adam smells." But the mm employee didn't allow us to write that because it was too negative and went against the mm brand. So knowing we were not allowed to roast each other, the next phrases we decided to print was. 
get mads and something else right here. It wasn't creative, but without being able to make fun of each other, we didn't have a lot to work with. But those phrases weren't allowed either because they were the names of some YouTubers, so they got flagged by the system and they told us, you'll need permission from the YouTuber even though you're both right here. That is insane. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Oh my god. That's goodness. annoying. That's annoying. That kind of ruins this whole little story here. I, I, this, is, this is making me mad. Listen, boys, I'm just an mm, employee. I don't want to get sued. On one hand, I'm glad that mm, has a system in place to prevent people from stealing. But on the other hand, it's just ease. Mm. What do you think we're going to do with them? So after two failed Sell them for a million bucks. <laughs> At least I still got my cannonball guide. Hey, you kept it. Oh, look at that. There it is. Printed. Even though technically... The look at all the exclamation marks. So you actually did yell it. This image is copyrighted, so... Mm, you'll be hearing from my lawyers soon. One of the disadvantages of being a YouTuber is the lack of benefits. We don't even have dental. And with all the junk food I'm eating and the flossing I'm not doing, I should oh. probably see one. Oh, the teeth, James. Whatever you eat, you should floss and brush your teeth. I floss, uh, at the moment I floss a little bit too much. I think I floss like four times you a day. I think a little thing less possible. So, yeah, I, I might have a little flossing problem. But I mean, oh, I, I don't want to go addicted to flossing. That's good to know. I didn't know dentists were optional. I thought they summoned you to their offices like jury duty. That's what it felt like when I was a kid. I've never gotten a cavity, though. At least not one that I know of. So at least I'm doing something right. Hell. That's a weird picture. This is the part of the video where I give you advice on eating healthy. Doctor, oh, that's good. That's good. I like that. And when I don't know what to eat, I can't help but biting down on a delicious carrot. Carrots are the. Oh, I love that. I love that you included the fish meme. Look at this, everyone. Look at there it is. Biting down. Oh, you did too. Yeah. It's cool. Delicious carrot. Carrots are the most popular vegetable in the world. Are they? Having been nominated as the best orange thing ever. Are carrots the most popular vegetable? I think I think onions are. I really think onions. Are. Onions. I mean, carrots are really popular. But I, I mean, I would have thought. Oh no, I was going to say tomatoes, but they're not even a vegetable. Uh, on onions are. So forget what I was going to say. Like, I think onions are the most popular. Then again, I don't know if they're considered a vegetable. Are they? Yeah, pretty yeah, sure they, they are, because they have no seeds. Five thousand free carrot points and a bunch of weird looks at the grocery store. Give your body the fuel it needs. You wouldn't pour soda in a car engine and you expect it to run. Of course, that's not really the best metaphor to use because you also wouldn't pour water into a car and expect it to run. I guess everyone drink gasoline because cars and people are the same. But the point is, you've only got <laughs> Don't one listen car. to that. Yeah, don't drink gasoline. Don't drink gasoline. Or I think it can, like, corrode your inside or something. Mm. So we should take care of it. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the first video of 2020. Did any of you eat sugary cereals as a kid? I had some this morning. <laughs> cool, me neither. I want to get sapped. Yeah, but as a kid, I didn't really eat sugary cereals that much. But I, th I think more recently, I kind of started eating more sugary cereals. Definitely not good for you. No, absolutely feel, not. It doesn't make you feel good. That's what I'll say. It doesn't make you feel good eating sugary cereals. But I, I enjoy really them, but it doesn't make you feel good. nice when you were a kid. You're like, hmm, I could use some nutrients. Happy for a second, and thank everyone for supporting me. It's crazy how far we've come in like, how long has it been? Six years? Many of you have noticed some Odd Ones Out merch popping up at Hot Topic, GameStop, okay. Box, Lunch, and Target. And all of this has happened because of your support. And it really means- You got your own merch and something like GameStop and Hot Topic? And I, I don't care if I don't it. go outside that often so I wouldn't notice because I don't go outside. But that's impressive. Now the next goal is to get into Walmart. Once you're into Walmart, you're in like some JoJo Siwa kind of uh, merch game, you know? It means the world to me. I want to give a big shout out to my amazing team who worked on this video. Oh, all so you should. socials are in the description. I wouldn't have been able to finish this video without you. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I really enjoyed it. I did too. Yeah. It, was a, it was really fun reacting to a reaction video. That was a lot of fun. I definitely don't have the best eating habits, however, I try my best to eat, you know, well. Doesn't all always go the way I want. Alright. <clears throat> See you in the next video.